Okay. Yeah, I can't wait to I can't wait to see y'all list because I don't as soon as I'm um uh, right, I'm trying to be smooth uh with the with the ties. Ain't gonna be no ties today. I ain't gonna lie, I got a big one that's gonna kind of piss you off. But you might as well be All right. here. Here we go. <laughs> All right, and we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Top Five on the People's Podcast this evening. We have some incredible panelists with us today. Um, Sister Mariah. Uh, Marvin, Yahweh, and today we're doing top five faces of acting, restaurants on television shows, and group collaborations. We, okay, let me fix the privacy. And we are starting, uh, to, uh, first of all, Sister Mariah, please say what's up to everybody. Here we go. Sister Mariah, say what's up. Marvin, please say what's up to everybody. Peace, love, blessings, and protection, everybody. All right. All right. All right. Yahweh, please say what's up to everybody. <laughs> what's going on, everybody? Hey, oh. brother. How are you? <laughs> brother, sisters. All right. So you got in How y'all doing? All right. Then we got Sister Mariah. All right. So now let's go. We get straight into it. What? Who is the face of action movies? All right. We're going to start with Sister Mariah. Okay. So first, I don't care what y'all think about my list. Second, I didn't pick this person. Man, just say number five. <laughs> Just say number five. So my, we got one for each one, right? Correct. Yep. Okay, so for action, it's not that he's my favorite, but I feel like when people talk about action movies, he's always in their list, and that was Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, maybe some peace, family. Peace, maybe. All right, boom. <laughs> All right. All right, Marvin, what you got? Action movie. Who's the face of action? Jackie Chan. Okay, so you think, you think Jackie Not That's the answer. Just think about, he does his own stunts. He done broke every bone in his body, and he's still willing to jump off of a, a burning building. Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan? Okay, I didn't think that's about Jackie Chan at all. I thought does, about him. And he does his own stunts. Samurai, you love trying to always one-up me. Like, yo, but I thought about him. I did think about him, but then I was like, <laughs> well, Josh going to be like, no, ain't no ties. <laughs> yes, yes. Because for comedy, I got, it's, it was close, but I, I, I still won one. All right, Yahweh, what you got that, number one? That's the one I got to top, oh, Josh. <laughs> uh, my number for, for what? Action is Dwayne Rock Johnson. I mean, yeah, yeah. The Rock has been in every action movie of the past, for the past, I'd say, like, what, 10 to 15 years. Like, he's that he, that's how he makes his living. So, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. To me, I got the he, same one, uh, Yahweh. I got, I got The Rock. I had him, movies, but then I thought... I, I had him there. I thought about Jack and Chan falling off that thing with all them lights and breaking all this whole face. And I said, no, nah, I can't pick him over him. I, I, got, I got The Rock. When I think of action movies, all I do is think about it. It's like, man, The Rock is, he plays, he's, he's like, everything. everything's blowing up. Godzilla's, all kind of stuff is going on. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Sister Rakia says, peace, y'all. So, peace, Sister Rakia. Yeah, all right, Rikia great. In the comments, okay. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Shout out to Sister Rakia. Um, all right, next we're doing. Um, so, Rakia, I also want to know what you think about BMF. I know you do um, movie re reviews, but I, I just got finished watching BMF. So, to so all my people from Detroit who know about the 80s and stuff, what up, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> BMF got me locked in. Let me tell you what I think about it. Trash. BMF? You don't like BMF? Trash, man. I like BMF. Y'all like the movie? Marvin, Marvin, Marvin you don't watch the show? No, you know I don't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't wait to say it, no? He couldn't wait to say no. I heard to say they didn't like it. <laughs> you, you ever people say they didn't like it, Mariah? I haven't seen it before, but he's the first person I heard didn't like it. Yeah, a lot, a lot of a lot of people I went to school with really reached out to me and said that I know 50 Cent because they thought that his character development was a lot like my character. Like, like, somebody, okay. like was I writing? Was I writing? Hey, on, on the low, though, on the low, Josh, you went to BMF High School on the low now. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> at your high school was in BMF. No, I'm just saying, like, I swear. I'm just saying, listen, um, <laughs> she's, oh, see, oh, since Rakia says she, she stays on the edge of her seat watching BMF. They, okay, uh, good. So you watch it. I'm telling y'all. Thank you, Rakia. I'm telling you, don't sleep. And y'all, well, that's my middle school. Thank you very much. That Marvin attended as well. Marvin know about Marvin. Oh, no. Nah, I'm talking about, no, nah, Josh, I'm talking about Reed Ann. Oh, you talking about Reed Ann when I came to Atlanta. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. when he came I mean, to Atlanta. But, I mean, it was it was so, come on. And they knew they everybody know, at Reed Ann was in BML. They, they know, they do your <laughs> they, research. Everyone. Everybody everybody knew Joshua Muhammad. Like, yeah, he's straight. <laughs> All right, let's go. Comedy. Uh, Sister Mariah, what you got? Faces of comedy. 
I had a really hard time picking. I do. I okay. So I won't have a tie, but I got an honorable mention. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So my first one isn't because he's my favorite, but I just feel like he's on top right now, and that's Kevin Hart. Okay. And then mm-hmm. my honorable mention because I laugh all the time at him is Will Ferrell. That's good. That's good. I agree. I agree. I, I mean, that's not mine, but Kevin Hart. That's I mean, best. people see. People see Kevin Hart, they, they, what are we talking about? Everybody knows this comedy. I could All watch right. what, Step Brothers, like it's the first time every time. <laughs> I like Step Brothers. Look at some more, I watch Step Brothers. Yeah, I like Step Brothers. <laughs> also, since you like Will Ferrell, shout out to the campaign. Don't sleep on the campaign, y'all. Campaign y'all, is hilarious. Watch the campaign. I don't know why it doesn't get a lot of uh, people liking it, but I could watch the campaign and laugh from beginning to end. Campaign is too funny. All right, Marvin, what you got? Uh, this is my tie, and I'm gonna say it because it's gonna make you real mad. But it's the first three way tie I ever done, so I'm gonna say Jim, Robin, and Eddie because I could not put one over the other. No way. So you say Rob, you said Robin, Robin Williams, Jim Carrey, Eddie Murphy. I can't put one of the other, so I just had to put them all. I just had to, bro. I like Those Robin Williams. That was good. I um, I watched Jumanji with my nephew yesterday for <clears> the first time since I since it, since I first saw it, and he was watching. It. I'm like Robin Wick, like. Rob Wynn's a genius, bro. Like, like I'm like, man, this is like, all right, I get it, I get it. Yeah, man. Um, okay, here we go. Boom. All right, Yahweh, who you got? The face of comedy. I had Eddie Murphy. I mean, but I also want to mention um, Adam Sandler because nobody else on this list is going to mention Adam Sandler. But I mean, Adam he Sandler, was close. he ain't nothing but a goofball. Like, he can't be that in funny. nothing serious. He was in what, like, what? You said he ain't funny. I, I'm not a huge Adam Sandler. Oh man, yeah. I, think, I, I think I think he has still comedy. So I, I think he has still so comedy, so and not everybody's gonna be with, be with that. But like, it, it worked for a lot of people because a lot of people are dry as hell, so they like. <laughs> we gotta insult me because I'm a fan of him. <laughs> but Eddie Murphy is my is my answer. Okay, boom. Okay, so the face of comedy, I gotta go. Eddie Murphy, he's the goat. Name is Peace Family. Uh, he's the goat, and um. But man, y'all, we agree. Oh, Honorable them mention. folks at Marvin do it. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but but honorable mention Adam Sandler. I, I, like he would he would be my honorable mention Adam Sandler. Like it was close because I watch more Adam Sandler movies than I do Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that's man, just because he put out more. He put I, out I'm so telling much. you, I watch Adam Sandler movies like Ben Stiller. I mean, I could do a three-way tie like Marvin with the Ben Stiller and stuff. But I mean, I mean Ben Stiller. I could watch Ben Stiller movies every day too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's go, Sister Mariah. What you got for comedy? I mean, for romance. Romance. Okay, so I haven't seen him in a whole lot of romance things, but I don't care what y'all say because he has How in the hell is list. he going to be on the list? <laughs> well, if he is who he is. Okay. Because um, I had a bunch of names on this list, but I'm going to go ahead and go with Lakeith Stanfield. Like weirdo Lakeith? The one? No, he's he should get out? Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, like get, get out. out. Maybe he was weird and get out, but Lakeith Stanfield, that's it. When I think I listen, I like Lakeith Stanfield. <laughs> I, I didn't know he was a romantic. I didn't know he I didn't know. So you he put me on be, he was in um he played what, he played in one romantic movie. It was trash. Yeah. He was in a photograph, he was in Someone Great. If you've never seen Someone Great, it's on Netflix. Uh-uh. But I like what he's saying, so I don't care what y'all say. Hey, listen, hey, somebody, somebody, you don't gotta keep saying you don't like. Well, we ain't gonna pick on you because you because you gotta. Uh, no, because y'all hate. But because Lakeith you chose Stanfield, Jordan Peele, because you picked Jordan Peele on the romantic. I mean, but Keith Stanfield is just he's like he's <laughs> what I call like tough. regular boy nice. Like he's just he ain't got to do too much. Okay, so, all right. So, so you choose it. Uh, that's what you said. So oh, you choose it. You choose it. Okay, Aisha says, "Hey, fam." <laughs> Aisha, we miss you. Or well, nah, I don't miss you on the show, but a lot of people miss you on the show. Said to come back to top five. And we said, come on, man, Aisha, we miss you on the show. It's been a long time. Nah, nah, nah. All right, listen. Hey. Sister Lakia says Seth Rogen is funny, and uh, Lakia. All right, boom. Okay, boom. All right, so Akeem is here. All right, Akeem, you ready, bro? I'm ready, bro. Oh uh, yes, sir. So okay, so Akeem, no, don't worry about it. If you can give us. The Akeem, they was talking about me. That's calling me David Ruffin. <laughs> I came in late. <laughs> All right, which one was y'all on? I was trying uh, to because I was okay. rolling. Okay, Akeem, can you you can just go uh, back to back real quick for action and comedy. So my action was 
Uh, Dwayne Johnson, obviously. I mean, yeah, we got back, back to back years. You know, highest paid actor, and then uh, Adam Sandler. I put him. I put him uh, hands down because I feel like even the other ones, they crossed over and had a bunch of like not comedy movies. But when I think of Adam Sandler, I only think of comedy. Okay. Okay. Well, he, I he, said, he, he, he's just a goofball. Like that's all. Yeah, yeah, like, he, he, he that's all about making with the same group of people. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was definitely my honorable mention. All right. So okay. So you got. So you caught back up again. All right. So Marvin, romantic. Uh, who's the face of uh, romantic movies? Halle Berry. Halle Berry. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, it's a, you think she's the face of romantic movies? <laughs> Come on, man. Look, I, I, you know, I, what I, had, I had Ryan Gosling at first, and then I felt real sexy because I had a woman on my list. So I was like, Halle Berry, bam, it works out. Right, right, Ryan Gosling, who's actually, you know, the notebook and everything else, that makes more sense. Crazy, super lucky. only because of the notebook that alone get him on, on the list. All right, I would say, all right, but Halle Berry, I mean, you can't go wrong with Halle Berry, too. Oh, I gotta add a king to try to tag him on Facebook. All right, here we go. All right, so next, Yahweh, who you got? I mean, this man is the face of many genres, if you think about it, but you got to go with Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> like, all of his big movies are romantic movies. Yeah. Like, so Titanic. The Titanic, um, Romeo plus Juliet, which is complete trash, but it's still, <laughs> but, but it still is up there. Um, yeah. He's just a romantic interest in, every, like, every single thing from the 90s. In early 2000s, but you know, now I see him as uh Master, Master Candyland or whatever. He well, was. I was about to say, you talking about, about Calvin Candy? No, bro. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about Master no. Candy. You, you talking about Ca Calvin Candy? No, sir. I would not see him as a romantic at all. Hey, come on, man. You didn't see how he was swooning them. You didn't see how he was swooning them slave sisters. Come on, man. Swooning and grooming. Uh, you automatically got the boot for that one. Uh, <laughs> he was real polite to the ladies, to the lady black slaves. So he was, I, real polite. He was extremely like I, I had trouble at, at sometimes thinking. I was like, damn, he be actually kind of nice, and then he do something real. <laughs> Okay, Real so bogus. as usual, there's not a five, there's not a top five that goes by that we don't mention Jango somehow. Shit one, uh, go. So, uh, uh, Akeem, what you got for uh for rom romantic movies? Uh, I got Neil Long. That's a good I, one. I, I went, I went, to, I, I went to Marvel about Neil Long. Yeah, I went the Marvel yeah. route, but but I still kept it to where so <clears throat> when I see her or when I think about her, I only think about romantic movies. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Big Mama South. My favorite. Big Mama South may be one of my favorite movies of all time because of Mia Long. She was a great. Woman. Oh man, this is the first ever, y'all. This is the first ever. <laughs> Josh said that a black movie. <laughs> right. It's his favorite. Of all time. Listen, Mia Long. Have y'all seen Big Mama South? Like, I'll watch Big Mama South again today just for one for ten just, seconds for just twenty so five minutes of when that you, trash you, movie. Of which ten seconds are you talking about, Josh? Exactly. What ten seconds specifically, Josh? <laughs> When they, when they went fishing and, and her and Martin was going fishing. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying, Terrence Howard coming out of jail being angry. That movie was not, no. He was the it girl for a while. Okay, so um, Naima said Marvin was just choosing. Now she's saying the king was just choosing. No, <laughs> that's the same thing Mimi said. <laughs> All right, so for me, for romantic movies, I'm thinking about Matthew McConaughey because I'm thinking from a stance of uh, you expect somebody. I'm thinking of a movie characters that I would want to play, and I if y'all seen the movies where he uh, oh, yeah, go, yeah. huh? Ghost of Girlfriend's Past and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like I think that Matthew. Behind the seat. y'all stop worrying about why y'all worried about Martin being the check? Only on top five. Only on top five. Go ahead, Marvin. I see you. <laughs> Y'all think Marvin about to get jumped or something? Everybody nervous for Marvin? I was worried. I was worried. Oh, no. He said, you explained to somebody. I was like, oh, don't just let him fall back. Just when he opened the door. I, I was answering the door. It was DoorDash. You know, DoorDash for my mom. Bro. There we go. Look at uh, this. They, they so nervous. That's what I'm saying. They so nervous thinking the worst. All right, Sister Mariah, what you got for horror films? That one was hard for me. So I went with Who Scared Me When I Was Little. That was Tony Todd and Candyman. 
Tony Todd, that's, that's the black, that's the black man from Candy. That's uh, Candyman. I never knew his real name. I never knew his real name. Mine first. Okay, that's a good. I mean, he's he definitely. If I see him, I think of Candyman. I, I never knew his real name, but. Uh, Marvin, who you got? The face of horror, horror movie. I had the same thing. I went through the list. I was trying to find somebody, and I saw dude, and I'm like, yep, that's the face right there. That's the one that's good. Just think about it. You, grown men, for real, will not sit in the mirror and say Candyman. Uh, not even two times. I'm not I even testing it. I don't say it now. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's, it's grown people that won't say it, so that's the face of horror right there. And they got y'all trained, man. Y'all supposed to be free <laughs> black folk on here, man. Y'all supposed to be like, hey, see, see, that's y'all problem. Want. Y'all always trying to be overly free. I'm free enough. <laughs> right I'm free. Y'all heard, like, heard Marcus said that, that Leonardo DiCaprio was nice, you know what I'm saying, to the slave sisters. Um, um, Akeem, uh, Naima says uh, Lonnie is waving at the screen saying Uncle Akeem, uh, Queen. Uh, Aisha, Aisha says, <laughs> Lonnie, Lonnie. Uh, Aisha says Freddy, but Freddy Krueger, uh, so I'm assuming she's assuming Freddy Krueger. I don't know who she saw my friend. Maybe she saw my Freddie Prince Jr. All right, since so Rakia says it was Hellraiser for her. All right. Yahweh, who you got is the face of horror films? I got the face of horror films, the only face of horror films, and that's Stephen King. Little do people mm. know he plays in all his movies. Like he mm. plays like weird characters in his movies. I ain't know that. Times, like he, he I didn't know that writes, directs, and he, he plays in the movies. Kind of like how um what's his name? Stan Lee. Uh, go- what you say? Stan Lee. <laughs> I said M. Night Shyamalan. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, both of them, I guess. I don't know. But I was talking about Stan Lee. I'm like, Stan Lee played in all the Marvel. We always make cameos and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No doubt. That's true. So, yeah, kind of like how Stan Lee does. He, he like, always got to make those scary movies. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, have, I have to go with um, with Stephen King. Like, Stephen King, that's a good one. That, that was out the box. I definitely didn't think about Stephen King. All right, so, uh, King, what you got? Horror movies. Oh, I picked uh, Anthony Hopkins. Okay. Hands down for me, Definitely. Hannibal Lecter uh, haunted me forever. And even <laughs> when I saw him in other movies, I always saw him as Hannibal Lecter. I, I definitely think that he's he's typecast for me as well with, with, with Hannibal Lecter. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, that's who you are. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good one. All right. I, so I, I, never, I never seen Hannibal Lecter. Uh, the only thing I remember Anthony Hopkins in, honestly, is um with Antonio Banderas when they played Zorro. <laughs> I remember him as Zorro Master. Uh, Marvin, if you don't watch Silence of the Lambs, if you don't watch Silence of the Lambs, Marvin, you gotta watch it, man. I figured. I I know I got I missed a lot, bro. A whole lot. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Um, and you, but you know, I was about to make an offense reference, but you don't watch the offense. I'm gonna say because they redid. You know, Dwight put the mask on and all that. I know I'm late. It's gonna be a day though. It's gonna be a day. I'm gonna catch up on that thing. You can do all the references, but right now. <laughs> all right. So for me, horror films, Jamie Lee Curtis. Every time I see y'all, uh, man, see all the movies. Yeah. Every time man, I see her, all I think about is Halloween. Yeah. She, I mean, I mean, my whole life, I'm like, nope, nope. <laughs> if she comes to a party, Michael Myers is on the way. That's what I'm just telling y'all. I'm just like, y'all know. She, <laughs> yeah, she, that's how it goes. All right, now we're doing fantasy. So, so Mariah, what you got for fantasy? Okay, so I'm not really into, I don't think, too many fantasy things, but... I picked Elijah Wood from Lord of the Rings only because I played Lord of the Rings music and it's one of my favorite to play. You play the music just like just chilling? No, I mean like when I when I was playing music. I'm gonna say that's a weird flex, but okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so you say, you say well, I like you how the, the soundtrack and stuff sounds, huh? You played the instrument. You played the instrument. When I was like in band back in my, that's you know, so you were like Lord in a band or something. Lord of the Rings was back in the days this morning. To me, kinda. I didn't know. I that. mean, I, I was saying, playing you Lord of the school? Rings music in high school. I didn't know that. Yeah, I played. I thought, like Ring, I thought Lord of the Rings was something new. I don't know. Maybe so this is more. Did you play the piccolo? <laughs> I did not. I played clarinet, bass clarinet, and alto clarinet. That's close enough to the piccolo for me, sister. Look at this is Brian with the smooth flex. Okay. <laughs> Aisha, right on my sister. Thank you. Um, sister uh, Rakia says Hannibal Lecter is so definitely her favorite one. Um, Aisha saying Luke Skywalker. Aisha, we saying the actor, not the real, not the real person. Um, uh, that's a good one, Josh. Oh, not even saying it, boom, boom. Okay. Marvin, who you got? The face of a genre when it comes to fantasy. The actor, Aisha, not the <clears> character. <throat> Jason Statham. 
Okay, because of what? Because of what? Man, Jason State just think his all his movies are just super weird. Crank, uh, the Transporter, like it's super fantasy. But he always gonna beat the hell out the whole. Everybody that's in the movie that's not him, he gonna beat him up, he, and he gonna beat him up real bad. Okay, so I th- I'm thinking more action, but all right, you saying it's fantasy? We gonna let that. <laughs> I mean, come on, the, the crazy how, thing how, about how, that how, one, Crank. If you think about Crank and Transporter and all his other movies, uh, the one where he in jail and he got to race the car, like all his. I, I never, I never seen them. I never seen them. I never seen them. Well, you gotta watch them Jason Statham movies, boy. Yeah. I mean, I <laughs> hey, they they beast. The thing about that that category, that fantasy category, is that a lot of them cross that line. Like you got a lot of them that's up there that make those movies that could also be listed as just top tier action movie stars. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jason Staten, Staten is one. I mean, to me, he's like really up there. Like his name never gets mentioned, but if you watch his action movies, like his his uh, martial arts seems impeccable. He always like he looked dope, super dope. Yeah. You, you he's like a John Paul Van Damme choreographed <laughs> action star, though. Uh, but it's, uh, I, listen, I, give uh, it. I I I I used to say Taraji P Henson is a good fantasy star. I never seen her in the movie Aisha, but I'm sure you know what you're talking about. I don't know what that. All right, Yahweh, what you got? Speaking of Taraji B. Henson, I had to give y'all a Jamal answer. I'm going to go with Tyler Perry because you can only make that shit up. <laughs> you, can, you, you can only make this shit up. Right. It's all fantasy. Like, when you really think about it, every single Medea, everything is straight fantasy. You, would not see, you don't see that stuff in the real world. I don't care how messed up your family is. You don't see all that. Come on now. I think I, I, I think, I, I think I, we don't see that because we're in good neighborhoods, but brother, trust me. That's yeah, going on. Look, 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 I was more uh, likely to see something off of off of um Minister Society versus <laughs> versus Medea. Listen, Medea goes Medea goes to Halloween or whatever. The boot, the um the, the, the sequel is coming out on Netflix, I think this this November. Medea went to jail. Madea went to Hong Kong. Madea went yeah. every day. Do you love part, yeah. Yahweh just never want us to get a Tyler good. Perry sponsorship. He never wants to get a Tyler I Perry don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. We don't need his money. That's, self, that's selfish, Yahweh. Just selfish. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm like, come on, bro. Uh, Sister Robin says, peace, family. Got to watch replay. Thanks, Sister Robin. Just jump in anytime. Naeem says, bye, Josh. And everybody's laughing. Now, Aisha said, um, not only to, uh, to Roger P. Henson, but um, Tracy Ellis Ross too. Okay, great. Um, Akeem, who you got for the face of fantasy movies? Um, Keanu Reeves. That's Keanu good. Reeves for me. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good like one. With the, with the whole, uh, what was it? Forty Seven Ronin. Obviously, the Matrix trilogy. Um, he's just like when I think about him, that's where I go with you know, with, with he's like sci-fi fantasy. All the way. He, to me, he's the face of that genre. That's a good one. Okay, I, I think about that. And you can go back before all of that Bill and Ted, Excellent Adventure, all that kind of stuff. He's always in some weird fantasy stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. And he, his career aged very well. Yeah, his absolutely. Career aged very well. Like now, now it's like he got this mystique. People be talking about him like, this is, yeah. This is and I mean, more so that? now in the in the action realm with John with the John Wick uh, trilogy, good, yeah. but. Shoot, they, they just released a trailer for the, the new Matrix that I'm waiting for. So listen, that's and that's what I'm saying. I'm like, it's like now it's like he's a, he has a beard, so it's like he's the bad. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Exactly. Aisha, Aisha is trying to get us a Tyler Perry sponsorship as well. I'm not repeating that, Aisha. <laughs> uh, shout, out to House of, shout out to House of Pain. Shout out to House of Pain and the rest of Tyler Perry's movies. Uh, you got you got to use the mute button whenever we talk about Tyler Perry. You got one. That's all. <laughs> All right, my, uh, if I'm not unmuted. Best believe I'll bring Tom Perry <laughs> so way, some way, somehow. So, listen, the face of fantasy for me is Hugh Jackman. Y'all already know X Men, X Men is like my too. favorite series. Okay. Wolverine, like, you know what I'm saying? When I see him, I just think of Wolverine. And he's played in a whole bunch of other type of stuff. I'm still like Wolverine, X Men, boom. That's what it is. All right, let's go. Top five, t- top five television shows, restaurants on television shows. I was looking forward to doing this. I thought this was creative. Um, a lot of the topics I get um, from the panelists and random people, but this was something I actually thought of, and I was like, let's go. All right, so we're going to start with you, Akeem, number five. All right, so Rachel's Place. 
I don't know if y'all remember. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. I don't know if y'all remember Family Matters or Rachel's Place. It turned into uh, yeah, it turned into it, uh, it turned into like a little hot dog spot. But later on, it was like you know it, it, it became like the setting for a lot of you know cool stuff that happened. Like um, I think that was one of the spots that the the gangsters tried to run up in there and crush the whole place. They, they burned it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was. It, it was uh, that was a good. Saturday. Oh man, Josh, you be like, like you don't watch Family Matters. Look at him. He... I never said I didn't like Urkel. I always like Urkel. I like Urkel. Yeah, but yeah that's why I'm a five. Okay, Mimi said that's a good one, Booski Booski Akeem. Okay, Mimi, keep it respectful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fact, so, I don't know if she actually wrote that, but the fact that she read it like, well, <laughs> she, she she really uh, like so fast. <laughs> Aisha said Central Park. Central Park. Aisha, you know that's my number one. Uh, Mimi said Booski. the back. She's here. Na- Naeem is the only person that would ever bring up Moesha in the den, but she said the den of Moesha. Yeah. <laughs> no, she ain't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my list. <laughs> no, um, she ain't. But wait, there's more. <laughs> uh, then Naeem said, yes, they burnt it down. She remembers that sad episode. Naeem, okay, keep keep your emotions in mind. All right, here we go. So uh, next, Marvin, what you got? Number five, restaurants on a TV show. Yeah, the restaurant they used to go to, to uh, on Seinfeld is called Tom's. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. It just looked like the place. Okay, It just looked like a place you you like. They go there all the time, and you see why. Like I see why y'all come here all the time. It's just <laughs> it's lovely in here. It feels normal and and like a working man's place. Yes, yes, yes. I like that. I like that. Okay. Sister Robin said, "I'm not angry. I, I'm not angry at, at the Moesha on the den, Sister Robin. But I'm just upset that my sister name always references Moesha every time." Like Marvin, like Marvin, <laughs> uh, Django, and and Yahweh with ATL. It's just going to come up. And since Mariah with Joe, I'm sure Joe's coming up in here some ways. So yeah. uh, Joe's hey, place. It's Joe's Joe's brother, can, can we live? Can we live? <laughs> All right. So next we go with Sister Mariah. What you got, number five? My number five is from Saved by the Bell, the Max. The Max That's word. That's, That's a good one. Okay. That's on my list. That's on my list right there. Yeah, I used to want to go there. All right. Good. All right, Yahweh, what you got, number five? Well, I'm going to give y'all a place that none of y'all wanted to go, and that's Pops Diamonds from the Wayne's Brothers. <laughs> that's my <laughs> no, 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 wait, The wait, whole that, show took place in that time. Yeah, the, that's a good That's one. on my list. So that's you're on wrong, my brother. list. <laughs> that's, what, that's on my <laughs> list. Well, I have a question. For all of the uh, – is that the place where um, – Tyler Perry used to say, get the tea, and stuff like that. Is that what, is that what that? Does you ever, does you ever disrespect John with the spoon? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that where Pop said, is that where Pop special chili came from? Is that where that's 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 Exactly. Josh, Josh no. Josh, he acted like he'll be watching this stuff. I don't watch that trash no Josh. more. Oh my God. What up? What trash? Yeah. Nobody watching the Wayne's Brothers no more, Marvin. No. Wayne's Brothers is Oh, you lying. Trash, that's that's still one that's lasting. It's aging well. Like, a, lot of those, a lot of those shows aren't aging well. The Wayne's Brothers is aging beautifully. Trust me. Okay. I haven't seen the Wayne's Brothers in a long time. I just remember everybody saying, get to tea at school, and it really made me mad. All right. Um, get to tea. <laughs> Aisha said, that. Aisha said, get to tea at Neverville North. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's what that's what made me even more <laughs> mad than it was at April oh, North. Just just like they was doing Dave Chappelle, making me mad too. All right, Aisha <laughs> said Patty's Pub. That's a good one, Aisha. I ain't thinking about that. Um, hey, uh, Pop, uh, Pops is the greatest TV dad there. of all time. Pops is the greatest TV dad of all time. There's been no oh, greater TV right. dad between between the Wands and the Boondocks. Best father ever. Okay, listen. Thank you, Marv. I know you feel about the Boondocks. Um, Aisha says no, no Witherspoon. Slander. She always had a crush on him. All right, let's go. Next. What? Um, <laughs> wait. Uh, Yahweh, what you got number five? I already went. I said, I got Pops Don. Oh, you got Pops Don. Oh, I got, yeah. I got this. I did this for all my panelists. Nothing but love for y'all. Word up. What up, though? BMF. Uh, I'm going net. I'm going Nipsey's off Martin. We're going Nipsey's. That's, hey, that's on my list, that's too. That's a good one. I that's low. Like that one. Yeah, Listen, that's I do I do it for the people. What up though? What's up? What's up? <laughs> 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 you do it for the people. Right, the people's podcast, you gotta do it for the people. That's all I'm saying. Uh number four, what you got a kid? That was my number four. Nipsey's. Okay, Nipsey's. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. I mean, for obvious reasons. I mean, Martin is an iconic show and 
that was just another place where they, you know, where they chose to grow the show at. So, absolutely. Shout out to Big Shirley. Uh, not even seeing Poor Richards on, 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 at the office. Absolutely, a lot of great stuff happening at Poor Richards. Sister, Rick, Sister Rakia said the Krabby Patty. What you know about the Krabby Patty, Sister Rakia? Hey, Krabby Patty. Uh, <laughs> and Sister Robin said yes because we got to atone for the Tyler Perry part. Okay, absolutely. Uh, um, Naima says Josh loves Martin, y'all. Don't let him mock. I'm not mocking. I'm showing love uh, to Nipsey's. Okay, listen. Uh, number four, Marvin, what you got? My whole list has been exposed. I'm so I'm so mad, but uh, <laughs> my whole list. <laughs> I had Mr. Krabs at number four. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I mean, I think everybody wanted a Krabby Patty, bro. I think everybody wanted a Krabby Patty. Listen, absolutely. Wow. All right. Uh, so, and I also, I got a chance to um, to go to Universal, like to City. I think it was City Walk or something. Where they had the whole um, underwear, you know, underground, you know, bikini bottom, all that kind of stuff. And I didn't realize how happy it was. Like, man, this is, you know, man, this is your ch- This is it. This is, you know, it's good. Um, all right, so Mariah, what you got? My number four was Pop's Joint from Wayne's Brothers. Okay, that's yeah. right. That's right. Um, you got a coordinate. Listen, okay, y'all, what you got? Number four. <laughs> I got the Royal Peacock from um, Fresh Prince, where they were. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, oh, I didn't think about where that. Where what's name they used to work at? Where Will and um, old nerdy ass Carlson, where they used to work at. That Why was, do you have to attack Carlson? Because he's the nerd, Josh. Didn't Tyra Banks work there when she was on the show? Yep. Mm-hmm. I love how Sister Mariah act like she's like she her favorite it show. It was one of the last redeeming <laughs> qualities about that show. That show really like went to like, towards the latter half of it. But, I'm, you know. I'm, about say, I'm about to say, I stopped, once Will Smith started trying to drink the dude under the table, I said, that's it. No more. No more. This is, this is, this is, this is it. It was over with me, huh? It was oh yeah, it was over. By, by the time they was on to that place, I was like, nah, I'm straight. All right, uh, my number four. I'm coming back. If you if you want to take your if you want to take your woman to a special place, you know what I'm saying where they get fancy. Let them know, Josh. Right? You take her uh-huh. to Shea Marie's on Martin. Boom. That's where Martin. That's where Martin went to. Uh, always went to uh, go sing. I always loved you, Regina. They got fancy. And he said, "Woo, yeah, y'all know Shea Marie." That's where Martin came through with the hat and the thing, and he went to the back. Shea Marie's, boom. Let's go. Also, Pam was blocking when he went to get her back. By the way, and then they had to figure out it was that Shea Marie's. All right, here we go. All right, um, uh, Mimi said her number one is the pit. Uh, is the pit. A different world shot to Missy Gaines. I mean, when you say the pit, are you talking about the pit? It's, that's that's the pit world? Stop, shot. I'm dancing. saying that's a different look, world. So, look, that's on my list too. It is <laughs> that generational gap. My my list right is there. so black <laughs> that it don't make no sense. Not even said, why is he coming to Carl like that exactly? Not even saying y'all see how much he loves Martin. I watched like five episodes of Martin. But that the the breakup episode and him coming back to Shea Marie's to get her from from uh, Marvin's man Braxton from uh, Moesha Martin came up and Shea Marie said Nah baby <laughs> I said Go ahead Martin Go ahead Martin All right Marvin What you got Number three Oh Marty Mar <laughs> <laughs> Yeah Wow I got I got Pops Don, Diner for number three And I know a lot of people are perplexed by picking Pop, Pops Diner because it was a little filthy But you know everything was made with love You know so you looked over <laughs> the fact that Pops was cheap as hell and didn't clean off it, you know? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, how do y'all, whatever. Hey, we, we know all the, the intricacies of the, uh, the restaurant, okay, brother? We love Pops. <laughs> <laughs> That's I all thought they know. always, didn't they eat at the newsstand, the Jet newsstand? They had an Ebony and Jet newsstand, right? I think it was right across the restaurant. <laughs> they only sold Ebony and Jet. All right, Marvin. Okay. Um, um, Aisha said definitely the pit from Beverly Hills 90210. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought that's what I'm saying. I thought that's what y'all was saying. All right. Sister Mariah, what you got, number three? The pit from 90210. <laughs> that's my Morris. Y'all got me. I'm like, wait, because she said shout out to a different world too. I'm like, hold up. Like, y'all throw me off. It was called that in different world too, though. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, all right. Well, no, 90210 was called the Peach Pit. The Peach different Pit. Different world was just called the Pit. The, the the pits. Okay, got it. All right, so I used to the Peach Pit. Boom. All right, shout out to the Peach Pit and shout out to the pit. Shout out to Mr. Gaines for always putting that spot, pop special chili. All right, next, um, uh, Yahweh. 
man, I'm going with a different world. I'm going with the pit, man. You know, shout out to um, <laughs> shout out to um, Mr. Gaines and all them folks out there. And um, middle finger to uh, what's her name, Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. We've been just taking the whole character. All right, listen. My number three is the, if you want to get some chicken wings, there's a place on the Sopranos called Bada Bing. Nice restaurant. They got the best chicken <laughs> wings, <laughs> pepper, mild, hot sauce. Bada Bing. Boom. Just that quick. They got no damn lemon pepper. No <laughs> <laughs> Where they got spaghetti? They got spaghetti there, Bob. I mean, you know, that makes you feel better. My God. Go to Bada Bing to get your spaghetti from the Sopranos. All right, boom. All right, next we go to Akeem, number two. I got uh so this is this is a spot that y'all probably don't know about called the Drunken Clam. Um, this is where Peter spends most of his time with his guys. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one, Akeem. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That just made my list right there. Thank you, Akeem. <laughs> that just made my list. Yeah, that's a good one, Akeem. That's a good one. Oh, yeah, will you please stop with the will you please stop with the taking people's other uh, responses? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, man! I didn't can't look. This is the most original list I didn't came up with in a long time. <laughs> All right, Marvin, what you got? Number two. All right, uh, number two, I got Nipsey's. <clears throat> and it's just, my, uh, huh? <laughs> no, nah, bro. The, it just looked like that. That looked like the place to be, the bar in the neighborhood. Where you go, you catch Martin in that joint. That's the best place in the, in the neighborhood. You catch Martin in there. All the. <laughs> All the all the chill people in the neighborhood that that don't start fights. That's the place to go. That's, I like that. I like that. All right, shout <laughs> out to Dipsies. All right, Sister Mariah, what you got? Number two. My number two is the Dan from Moesha. Okay. <laughs> because because I think Moesha is slick a musical. Because every time I saw Naima watching it, it was always some people with some great guests performing in there, like doing whole sets. So I'm like every show they was doing whole sets. I'm like okay. Well, one. I was a fan of everybody else except Moesha. I, for real, for real, Moesha was like a trash friend for everybody. But I liked it at the <laughs> pit. They yeah, had sister, like, well, I don't like none of the sisters. What? I liked everybody else. If oh, you go back yeah. and watch the episode. Who, who now, liked everybody else from Moesha? That's the question. I did. I liked Kim. I liked me. Of course, I liked you like all Kim. of them. But <laughs> I felt like, like Moesha was a trash friend to all of them. Yeah, she, she, she did. I remember when she did uh, Daisha wrong. She did Daisha wrong. I ain't like that. She used to always dog like out for her way, and she was a terrible friend. I love, I love how y'all just let me slide my day in there because y'all don't watch the show. <laughs> I don't even know who I don't even know who that is. It's, like, <laughs> it's all right, bro. It's all right. I'm like, <laughs> all right, y'all wait. What you got for number two? I had the den, but it was because of all the performers that they had there. Like yeah. it, it seemed like a cool little spot to go to. Uh, and they'll never charge anybody for nothing. <laughs> Everybody was getting food for free. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sister Rakia said uh, Moesha was a horrible friend. Damn. Y'all, uh, man, man, look, y'all hate everybody. <laughs> y'all hate Moesha. Y'all yeah, hate Beyonce. I, I know. I, I know um, also, rest in peace to Adele. She, you know what I'm saying? She was a good, is Adele? How you say her name? Adele, Dad? Adele. Dad? Oh, <laughs> Dale. And Dale? Yeah. And Dale. And Dale. Okay. Rest in peace to And Dale. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her. And, <laughs> and shout, shout out to the spinoff <laughs> of what's the show that came off the park? The Parkos. Shout out to the Parkos. Shout out to the Parkos. <laughs> All right, so listen. My number two is the Max by Saved by the Bell. I wanted to, I really wanted to go. I always wanted to go there. They had the jukebox. It seemed like it was popping, you know. You was pop, especially if you, you was cool in high school or something, you'd be like, man, I go to the Max. That's where everybody going to be at. Kelly, you know what I'm saying? Lisa Turtle. Shout out to the sisters. Lisa Turtle as well. All right, number one. <laughs> Can't leave Lisa out because I like Kelly Kapowski. All right. What? <laughs> what you got again? Oh, man. Uh, Moe's Tavern. Moe's Tavern. That's a good uh, one. That's a good one. Homer Simpson and the rest of his buddies to get together and have a drink, you know, get some pretzels, watch a game. That's, I ain't even think, man, can you think? And I ain't think about Moe's I was trying to think of what the rest I thought about it, but I didn't know the name. Thing. Even though it's a bar, but still, I, I got it. I, it's, that's a good one. it's a bar, but you can get food from there. So, yeah. you know, it's just like drunken plan. Is that Mar Marvin Square Nipsey's was a five star restaurant? <laughs> I mean, you, but you could order some wings. Could you order some wings in Moe's? <laughs> yeah, that's probably good. You can't get nuts from Moe's, but some peanuts and some Duff beer. Yeah. <laughs> 
You might get some wings and sandwiches or something. Some wings and sandwiches. Marvin, what you got? Number one. That brings me to why my number one is my number one. Most of these places we na- we named do seem like they have trash food, but not saved by the bell, bro. It looked like they food was banging. Like <laughs> it looked like steak and shake. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. <laughs> it looked like a glorified steak and shake. Uh, also, yeah. I don't know if y'all got Netflix, but help me help me out. If you look on Netflix, it says new episodes under Say by the Bell, but I didn't click on it. But it's like, how they got new episodes? Did anybody see it or click on it? Nah. <laughs> but yeah, at the bottom of at the bottom of Say by the Bell it says new episodes. I was like, I'm not going down the rabbit hole trying to watch to see what's new episodes, but it says that. <laughs> uh, all right. Next, we're going with you, Sister Mariah. What you got, number one? The Pit from Different World. That's right. Everything was happening at the Pit. They had step shows right outside. You could go in there, like. The Pit. There's nothing better. That's my favorite show ever. Different World? Yes. Shout out to and the Pit. Now. Shout out to The Pit. All right. Let's go. I, I, that's that's always trending too on, I want to say Netflix as well. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, Yahweh, what you got? Number one. I got Nipsey's. I mean, I'm not the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the biggest Martin fan, as you know. <laughs> like, Martin really ain't my thing. But it seemed like everything went down in Nipsey's. And the bartender at Nipsey saying like he was cool as hell. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to ride with Nipsey's. Rest in peace, Nipsey. Nipsey. Nope. You can't go wrong with Nipsey. Boom. I still can't believe y'all didn't like Shane Marie's, whatever. All right. Number one. <laughs> number one, I'm going with Central Park. Y'all know, where I'm, y'all know where y'all can find me at. Yeah. Getting that good coffee, them bagels, some, some, some cream cheese or whatever y'all might be into. Oh, some man. You bougie. <laughs> That's some cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they serve in Central Park. It's not, I, like, I don't know what type of food Josh they don't have wings. Go. That's all I'm saying. They don't have wings. But that's what y'all can find me. Y'all can find me in Central Park for sure. Uh, I ain't going see. nowhere where I look like a suspect. Nope. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Y'all was more bohemian. It's more of that history. It's like the thing about Smelly Cat. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. All right, let's get straight into it. I can't wait to see what everybody has. Thank you for watching the People's Podcast. Let's go to the top five group collaborations. A lot of my panelists seem to say this was very difficult, so I want to see what they got, and I'm going to see what you all have as well. And I can't wait to put this on YouTube, because now YouTube people are showing us more love. It was a minute we was on YouTube, and it was like two views, so now we're we, we moving up. Uh, Aisha, Aisha says she um, she really wants to go to Nipsey's. That's where she wants to get uh, when she <laughs> her favorite restaurant to go to. Thank you, Aisha, for letting us know about Nipsey's. I think it's in Detroit. What, Nipsey's? Yeah. It has to be. That's what Martin was at. All right, let's go. So top five group collaborations. Let's go. Number five. We are going with you, Marvin. What you got? Uh, for number five, I have uh, All the Way by R. Kelly and Kelly Rowland. No. No, it's group collaborations, Marvin. That's not a group. That's just a collaboration. <laughs> Yeah, no, but by groups, though. Man, uh, excuse me. I'm going back to the text message. <laughs> groups. What you mean? Yeah, groups. Josh, I thought you what? said group collab slash duet. Yes, ma'am. Like, like, but with groups, though. He said group, group collab yeah, or duet. Or duets. Like, with groups, though. It says or duet, brother Joshua. So you that means to me either or, sir. <laughs> well, no, okay. But that, 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 that was a breakdown. Of I thought it was like two people. Like, Group right, that's what I'm saying. I or, got some groups. I got some groups, but I I also got like like duets because it says or duets. Okay, that was a breakdown of communication on my part. Let me say that, even though so, I'm yeah, that was your fault. So Josh, Josh what Mariah. You mean, <laughs> what <laughs> you mean by the duet part, Josh? Huh? What do you mean by the duet part? I was I was trying to I was trying to explain it in one text message, but I had right to call me on the phone and for me to clarify. <laughs> Bro, that's why I call it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, so Marvin, okay, we'll come back to Marvin. Now you know it's a group. All right, Yahweh, what's you got for group? So I got Get Up, Get Out, Get Something by Outcast and Goody Mob. Two groups. That. I ain't thinking about that. I ain't thinking about that. I ain't thinking about Look at that. that. Boom. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, I ain't thinking about that. The Yahweh, group, they, they provided. They provided a couple of them for me. Yep. Okay, good, good. <laughs> they all definitely right. did. I ain't thinking about that, man. All right, now Akeem, what you got? Number five. I got number. I got this is my number five because it's before my 
and it wasn't even really my thing. But Run DMC and Aerosmith walk this way. And number five, that's Lower Key. Not, it's not for me, dog. It's yeah. not. I, 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 never, <laughs> I understand. If I walk into the spot, I'm a you know I'm a jam. That you do me. understand, Yahweh. Thank you for letting us know that you understand. Hey, look, man, look, I'm the biggest L Smith fan on this. No, man. <laughs> Some rides some working on her list now because of the duet thing through all. I, I yeah, you, you can see the Google, you see the <laughs> Google list. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking and I'm like, I still like my list. Man, man that, that really threw. I thought I made more sense to do it when I when I texted. Okay, maybe it didn't no, I no, no, don't don't like, try to make us change it when you told us that's what we you gonna go with what we got today. <laughs> All right, so Ryan, what you got? So I had Nelly and Tim McGraw only because I felt when they did over and over, only because I felt like so they yeah the Saint Lunatics and the Kukula Clan. Just go ahead and say that. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like they introduced each other's audience to different music. That's I like collabs that do that. That's a good one. That's a good one. And and I even said leaves to Mariah alone. Absolutely. All right. My, listen, my number five, since I was sticking to the group thing, because if we was doing duets, I could have, man, I would finish that list real quick. All right. But the group thing, I'm going in sync and black. They were collaborating, you know, bringing on home to me, you know. Oh, baby. I mean, but with, but with JC said, my thug appeal. Like, come on. <laughs> have, have you, have That's made of the class right there. Have you seen the wall behind me? You know, it sings at the top. Like, you know, like, I don't, you know. That's like, made I, of the class. He I, think said, JC, I, I think JC was, was, was oh, you know, he was out here really knocking people out. So, you know, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> if he said, if he said, he was out here like, catching bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, nobody ran up on sync. That's all I'm saying. Nobody ran they up on you know? They did. All right, uh, Naima said that's her song. Yes, yeah, I'm familiar with you playing the song around the house. All right, number four, <laughs> what you got, Marvin? Uh, number four, because like I said, <clears throat> I thought you need like two people <laughs> collaborating, not two groups. So uh, this is a whole album by these two people, and it's Jay Z and Kanye West. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Damn, I should have been more clear. That should have been. That's my fault, Marvin. I, I can't let it, it, I think it still works because you're gonna get some group answers and you're gonna get some duet answers. You know. Right. So, so tomorrow, that's Marvin's. Marvin's uh, lack of preparation is not excuse for you not to keep looking on your Google thing right now. Here we go. So Yahweh, <laughs> what you got? Number four. I'm looking at comments too. <laughs> You need, to, you need to focus on it, on it, on your search. That's what you need to focus so on. So number four, I got Aaron Smith and Run DNC walk this way just because it's like a gimme. Like, they're the first one that pops up in your head when you think of, of two groups that collaborated together, so. All right. I mean. I don't like the song, necessarily. It didn't age well, but. Yeah. Okay. Here we go with y'all just take, taking out Run D I think I think it's a lot of people. No, I don't think it's Aerosmith. I think Aerosmith is more accepted than Run DMC is. I'm just telling y'all. Like, I think I, I just don't think a lot of people like Run DMC no more. All right. Akeem, what you got number four? All right. So I I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with the goody mob and uh outcast. And I'm only doing this because I had to switch switch something around because I, I realized I put one as a group with a person and not okay. a group. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm take I'm gonna take uh, Black Street and Dr. Dre off of there. Okay, you know, okay. <laughs> because I because I messed that one up. All right, that's okay. Good. Uh, Aisha said her thug, uh, my thug, her thug appeal. She's making saying how it's ridiculous. Aisha, thank you for uh, commenting on NSYNC. All right, here we go. Sister Mariah, what you got? Number four. Okay, so this is the thing. The names that's coming up, I don't know these people, but on my list, my list. Yes, ma'am. My number four was Bang Bang with Jesse J, Ariana Grande, and Nicki Minaj. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. I don't know how I don't know how y'all got collaboration and thought that, but I'm. It's all good. I'm, I digress. All well, right. since it wasn't just me by myself, I feel like obviously it was. Thank you. you, thank you, Sister Mariah. Like, and you didn't you didn't even need to state that. That's Brother Josh's uh, problem for not recognizing the obvious. <laughs> Listen, Aisha said, "Please take off no diggity. It's horrible." <laughs> then she said, she said, she's just kidding, Akeem. Shorty, get down. <laughs> Thank you, Aisha, for singing No Diggity. All right, so my number four is, um, this is more Sister Mariah's age group, but 702 and Subway, little game we play, the slow music, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a good slow song, but it's two groups that came together, boom, made a song, little game that we play. And it's like, whatever. If y'all don't know what YouTube it, it's a good song. All right. I'd rather, I'd rather not. Yeah. Mom, I'm saying you like it. You're gonna put the R&B on for the ladies. No more like. 
Yeah. You know, whatever. <laughs> All right, number three. What you got, Marvin? Uh, for number three, I got "Fire and Desire" by Rick James and whoever the lady is. I don't know the lady. <laughs> Marie. That's the. That was. I thought it was Tina Marie. I did, but I didn't want to be wrong. So when I hit up Josh earlier, I was from, like, "Do it from like like Rick James and Tina Marie." <laughs> <laughs> Like, right? that, it don't matter hey, Marvin, if it was wrong. That's one of the most classic ones. So you talking, talking, he say, when she asks him how he doing, he say, who, me? Yeah, you <laughs> Who else you talking about? <laughs> you also, trying to be Marvin, over smooth, like, Rick. Marvin, since I know you like Rick James, he has a new um, documentary <laughs> that, came out like, that, that came out like two weeks ago. Very good. Yeah. Very I good. I bet. I bet. It taught me a lot. It taught me a lot about him. I never knew he was on Motown. I never. Man, knew I him. didn't know that him and Prince went on tour. That probably was a crazy ass tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, they should have filmed out. And he's and Rick James is the reason that black people got ever got to get played on MTV. I never knew that he was going hard to get black people played on MTV. And then my mm-hmm. came boom behind Rick James going hard against. It. I never knew that. All right, Yahweh, what you got? Number three. My number three is once again Goody Mob and Outkast and the rest of Dungeon Family with uh, Watch for the Hook. Classic okay. song, okay. classic okay. song, and like I said, it's one of the gimmies for this topic. So, all right, I, I would love to hear what Naima thinks about that song because if I ever played that type of music, she'd be complaining back in the day. So I just gotta have like, <laughs> she's like, oh, what are you playing? What is this? What is this you playing right now? A king, what you got for number three? Get low, Lil John, Eastside Boys, <laughs> and me and Yang Twins, baby. That is. <laughs> That is, no, that is literally all time great. I mean, he just he just got the title. I didn't think about that. Dang, I didn't think about that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hey, look, as much as you would think that song wouldn't age well, it's aging beautifully. I don't know how it's like, the Yin Yang Twins, man. Everything's the Yin Yang Twins. I don't understand. Listen from that whole. Time. If you play good low right like, now, your granny going to get up yeah. and get low. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's a good it's moment. Definitely what say, when King was saying it, I was like, I was like, whoop. I was like, what's up? I was like, yeah, yeah, boom, man. All right, that's a good one. I didn't think about that. Uh, Naima said that's a good one, King. And Sister Mariah is judging us all for liking get low. All right, now here we go. <laughs> Sister Mariah, what you got, number three? My number three was... Not tonight with I think it was on Lil Kim's first CD. Oh, and man, she judging us for get low. She got Lil Kim. <laughs> <laughs> she like she like Lil Kim and Paige. I was not judging y'all. I said that did age well. <laughs> okay, so you said not tonight with Lil Kim and Diddy. No, it had Lil Kim, Angie Martinez, Left Eye to Brad and Missy. Oh, 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 Ladies Night. Yeah. Well. Okay. I think it was called not tonight, but everybody just called the yeah. name. Okay, okay, boom, boom. That's something my sister would me and Miriam will play all the time. So I'm familiar with that song. All right. My number three is a song that is counterproductive to the community, like most uh, rap music, but it was a good song. Three Six Mafia, UGK, sipping on syrup. You know, <laughs> sipping on scissor. It's a great collaboration. I'm a you know big Pimp C fan. The greatest but, of know, all time. What you mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, it now that now. You know, fast forward and see how many people were just on lean. You'd be like, damn, y'all weird, bro, whatever. So, <laughs> y'all on, some weirdos. <laughs> y'all some weird. Because I hate to see, I hate to see the effect that it did. You know, everybody, you know, sipping on lean, but uh, sipping on scissor uh, was just home. You know, like a pimp, not a simp. You know, you know, whatever. I know it's old birds. I was a big pimp C fan. All right, here we go. So number two. What you got, Marvin? Uh, number two, I'm gonna say the, the three artists first, and then I'm gonna give you the song because it's very new. But if you heard. That it's a song coming out with Kanye West, the baby, and the weekend. You know that song was gonna be fire. Bro. You know whatever they put together is gonna be fire. And it's off his new album, Hurricane. If you haven't heard Hurricane, go listen to it and get your tear ducks ready, baby, because you probably gonna cry some. <laughs> I, I like I like her, I like Hurricane Marvin. Uh Mimi said that uh she's late, but it came out her song and Sister Mariah, she loves not tonight. Boom. Um, and, and then Mimi's rapping the songs and the um, lyrics. She said, "What? Well, what? It's like Angie on the mic or something." I, I don't. Mimi, stop rapping. <laughs> stop rapping the song. Oh All right, Yahweh, what you got? Number two. Well, like I said, I'm gonna keep it real, Atlanta. I ain't gonna make y'all cry, man. But this is two great artists from my time period. Um, one group goes by the name of Trillville, and the other is from is, is the other 
is uh, a rightful member of um, Crime Mob, and he goes by the name of Lil Scrappy. Okay. And you could never, ever, get on ever, 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 ever get on my level. Come on, now. that's one of the hardest hey, songs. Hey, oh, y'all wait. As, as you saying that, I'm picturing the song in my head to see if it's aging well. Oh my God, I can't wait, I wait to like listen to it in the bro. car, bro. I cannot wait. <laughs> That's my number two. That's your number two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure that. Like I'm like, I'm like, y'all got some good. I'm like, man, I was I couldn't figure it. That's a that's a great one, bro. That's a great one. Because right. it, it was like that's what they was doing during that whole time. Yeah, it was just a bunch of groups getting with each other to make like, music. You're like five dudes who's like, oh snap, that's actually two different groups. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And coming out with some of the hardest, boy, I'll be I, I feel real sorry for you. You fell in the club when them songs came off. Yeah. You get stumped. Oh, no, you get stumped. No. Listen, now while Marvin was doing footwork on the south side of uh, South Side of Chicago, and I was partying at the west side of Chicago at Nitro, during this time period, it was just <laughs> at <a rough> Nitro. <laughs> at Nitro. <laughs> I was while Marvin was on the south side, I was on the north side, but uh I mean on the west side. But um I was gonna tell y'all, this might age you, it's my age y'all, but I don't know if you ever heard the song by Bia, you know, the new girl where Nicki Minaj my little bit, it's a whole mm-hmm. lot of money in this. They they sample oh, yeah. they sample B and B in the song and I'm like mm-hmm. damn man they sampling songs from high school <laughs> <laughs> are they sampling B and B like we're like we're sample? <laughs> that's getting sampled right now okay yeah that's all hard I'm like all right I'm like okay the new damn so Lil John is old as hell basically is what it's in a nutshell right exactly all right so Akeem so Akeem you said that was your number two yeah that was my number two all right so Mariah what you got number two my number two was um, Run DMC and Aerosmith, or the, the two guys from Aerosmith, Walk This Way. Absolutely, absolutely. Shout so out to I you. followed your rule on that one. Huh? <laughs> That's why uh, I followed your rule on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sister Mariah. And, um, Mimi, Mimi said Little John is an icon. Yes, I remember Mimi getting, out of all my siblings, Mimi got suspended more than anybody for fighting, always listening to Little John, coming to school fighting, ready to fight everybody. Thank you, Mimi. <laughs> Uh, uh, my number two is Run DMC and Aerosmith too, mainly because that's way before my time. But what's not before my time was the infamous Super Bowl with Chris Rock, Nelly, In Sync, and all of them. And they they did they redid that. Uh, they did redid Walk This Way. That's how I got introduced to it. Nelly performed at a Super Bowl. Yeah, what you mean? What do you mean Nelly? Nelly and he had two. No, I'm a, so serious. He, yeah, he had a split jersey on. He had a two. He had a half. He, it was Ravens. Uh, okay, so Ravens this is this was prime Nelly that. Yeah, yeah, that. he had two. He had the half jersey. <laughs> everything. Chris Rock. I'm so right serious. There. I did not know he performed. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. It yeah. would make sense for him to perform at that time. Saying. Like he was the biggest rapper in the world. It was it was it was like eight people came out on stage, but whatever. But Nelly came out. They was like, hey, you know, they did the whole Run DMC thing. Um. Boom. So that's how I got introduced to the song. Number one, what you got, Marvin? The ultimate collaboration of all time. It got so many stars. I don't know where to begin. We Are the World by Michael Jackson and a million other people. And that song was fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I wish I could name everybody on the song, but I don't think, even if I like listen to it, I can't. Name, if somebody, I'm going to forget somebody. Yeah, you going to have to <laughs> definitely sit there and look at the list. There's no way you remember all these people. Yeah, that's I just know Ray Charles is on there. I thought that was pretty cool. I just know Ray Charles ran. <laughs> I know Ray Charles. I know Ray was on there. Because I'm saying, because I, I heard it recently, I'm like, oh, it's Ray Charles, like <laughs> Jamie Fox. Hey, I know, I know, the, I know, the, I know, the, I know the voice. Um, Naima said, uh, Yahweh is young, young, y'all. So we gotta, you know, we gotta understand. Uh, Mimi says, uh, Jamal don't hate on Nelly. And, and Mimi said, Jackson. I was just saying, I don't watch the Super Bowl halftime. Look, I'm a Falcons fan, man. I don't have no reason to watch a Super Bowl ever. <laughs> hey, especially, especially after the last one. Thank you, hey, look, we ain't gonna bring, we ain't gonna bring that, brother. <laughs> All right, y'all, uh, y'all, what you got? Number one. Well, Atlanta runs rap music, and so does Texas. And I'm gonna go with International Players Anthem, Bruh. With UGK and Outkast. Number one. <laughs> Say the That's greatest one. group collaboration. Ever every every verse on that song was a legendary verse. Yeah, it I was. Mean, I I go back to make sure I wasn't tripping. Like everybody was not on there. Like yeah, yeah everybody. It was everybody. <laughs> I mean, it starts off. I mean, just the way he, bro, Dre, bro. Oh a, yeah. 
I was right saying one day. Hey, your reaction is exactly right. You don't even know what to say. Like, damn, how did how did he exactly. even do it? I, I just came on that and did what Andre does. But but for Pimp C to clean it up like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Turned a real gangster. Yeah. And, and, and I, I think it'll be this hard. This is Mariah She like, what song y'all talking about? <laughs> He's like, what in the world is this? Oh. I remember I was like the whole song, but I listened to all that. I don't know what y'all think I'll be listening to, but I, I have a bad. Um, the Lord of the Rings. Music, the Lord the music of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. That's, that's what I think now. The Lord of the Rings soundtrack. Uh, oh, everything. Uh, Mimi said that was a good one, Marvin, when you said we are the world. That was the world largest collect. Uh, uh, Sister Rakia said, agree, players, um, uh, international players, anthem went hard. Look at Sister Rakia knowing about that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, so King, so that's y'all and the King both got that as number one. So Mariah, what you got as your number one? My number one was Eminem and Elton John when they did Stan. You no, know, Mariah, if this, if this was if this wasn't like for this subject, <laughs> it would be perfect. But it's <laughs> you know what? If you were more clear, it would have been. Yeah. That's it. No, it's, that's I'm, all I'm with Sister Mariah on that's this. <laughs> I literally, I read collab slash duet. I was like, oh, okay, a duet is like. Two different hey, people. Man, hey, I call. I had to call Josh when I was like, "Bro, I don't understand." See, you and Kim are gonna be the bus. See, Josh, you gotta give me my credit because hey, I did. Hey, that's Every that's great. A quality content. He was on his line. Josh, that's your problem. Uh, so, uh, Mimi says it's a classic. They ate as they say today. Thank you, Mimi, for telling us and talking about they ate. And uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Some rise, not your fault. Josh gave mixed instructions. You know. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> my, right. my, my number one was International Players Anthem as well. But I after Pimp C, after the first uh hook, I turned it off. I'm just that's just me, but whatever. I'm glad shout out to everybody else. But if Andre Thousand and Pimp C alone, I'm like, bro, I can you stop the song. I'm like, it's good, keeps going. But off the first two, off the first two verses, I'm already like, this is it. You, you tripping though. You can't turn on Big Boy at the end, bro. I know, no, I like it. I'm just saying it's oh, like Big Boy it, it was, was crazy. crazy. It was classic before I even heard it. I mean, like before I had, before I heard Bun being on, I was like, oh, Bun B said, like, "Girl, don't Bun touch said. my protection. Hey. I know you want it to slip, but slipping is something I don't do. Do tipping for life." <laughs> 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 Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying. Like you said, baby, you've been riding solo. It's time to get down with the team. Yeah, you know, on the other side, you know oh. what I I said, oh, man. That's I'm clear, y'all. I'm aware. He was talking some pimp stuff right now. Yes, yes, I'm aware. I'm just saying. It's for the brothers who've been abused Pimpin. by about abuse of women, brother. They, <laughs> <laughs> they had took a stand. They took a stand. All right, uh, excellent. I want to thank everybody for coming on today. Can't wait to put this on YouTube. Thank everybody who watched. Uh, Sister Mariah, can you please say goodbye to everybody, please, ma'am? Assalamualaikum. Goodbye, everybody. Assalamualaikum, ma'am. Sister Mariah, thank you very much. Akeem, can you please say goodbye to everybody, bro? Man, it's always an honor, brother, having me on. I appreciate it. Sorry I was late. <laughs> yes, sir. Listen, no problem. It wasn't, Akeem, you ain't got to apologize to me. Apologize to them. They're the ones who are slandering you. They Here we go. <laughs> there you go. Josh lying again. <laughs> tell, tell the truth, same devil, brother. I'm like, he coming, guys. <laughs> Making stuff up. <laughs> Mar Marvin, say goodbye to everybody, bro. I got a quick message. Um, I like it's it goes. It should be. I shouldn't have to say it. Protect our women, but clearly we're having a problem protecting our women, and I think we have to militarize our our daughters to the point where we're we're they're not being victims, but they're they're taking lives if they're if they're anything about their livelihood is being threatened. So build militant daughters. They're not going to be victims no more. We're not raising victims. we raising daughters who are going to take your top off if, if that's that's the case need to be. That's that's what I want to see. I don't want to hear no more victims. I want to hear daughters taking off heads, doing whatever they got to do to survive. Okay, Marvin, my God, that's, 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 that's the most aggressive Marvin ever came up. Marvin's just like, you know, peace is love, love is peace. It's all about to say, Marvin, we have the peace, love, and Afro and stuff like that. <laughs> I, I, I no yeah, seriously. I hear two. I hear two. I have women calling me all the time about things they go through. Like it, it's sickening, bro. And to know the the numbers of how many are, of our women are touched on a regular basis is alarming. So we got to build militant daughters. They got to be ready to stab, kill at the extreme instead of being 
you know, put in a position where they have to live their life in a mental prison because of what some man did to them. You teach it, Marvin. You teach it. Go ahead, Marvin. All right. Yahweh, follow that, bro. What you got? <laughs> you, you that's that's no, why you always let me go last. I'm not going to try. <laughs> say, good night. How about that? <laughs> Thank everybody for watching. It means a lot that y'all would take time out of your busy schedule to come bring some joy to the people, and, including myself. Can't wait to put this on YouTube. This is Josh Linda Muhammad signing off for the People's Podcast. Boom, just like that. Thank y'all very much.